Okay, team, so um, I'm just going to use the knot hole resin, which has a knot hole resin, and we're going to be using knot hole resin for our uh, boards, um, platters that we're going to make here today. Anyway, cracking on, first up, knot hole resin. This is our knot hole resin. Knot hole resin is two to one by weight. So, you want to be as accurate as you can. Uh, you want to be within about five grams. I think I'll go with Color Passion Magic Ocean. Thick paste or thin paste and not have to worry about having lumps in it. And they go a really, really long way. Love that color. Absolutely stunning. So guys, this is not all reason. Um, never pour it past about 10 mil. It's a little XA firm and crack. Okay guys, so we just poured the um, two with uh, Blue Magic and now we're going to go with Crimson Queen sitting close to about 15 to 18 millimeters and look at the end of the day if this exoderms and cracks which in some ways I hope it does uh, so I can give you that example um, then we can go through and fill it up with another killer. For this next layer, um, I'm still going to carry on using the um, knot hole resin. Um, it goes off really, really fast, and I just want to get this done pretty quickly. Now for our crimson board, I think it'll look pretty cool if we put in some um, New Zealand opal. So this is opalized mangrove and opalized cowry, but all these round pieces are opalized mangrove. There's only one dig site on the whole in New Zealand these come from. Uh, but if you want to purchase any of these pieces, these slices, uh, just get in touch with us. If you want to purchase any of these pieces, just uh, send us a message on Facebook or uh, fire us through an email on our website. Okay, team, so I mixed up a fair bit of uh, knot hole resin and at that volume, that stuff's gonna go off really, really fast. <clears throat> so what I wanna do now is uh, get my knot hole resin into these uh, boards and start doing the next layer. We have a crimson board and Just putting in about five mil here. So when we look at this, you'll be thinking, okay, well you've got a crimson pen layer down the bottom, and then you've got this layer. So we're gonna have, you know, a clear layer in the side. So what I'm actually doing is I've mixed up a Put a knot hole resin with some more. So this is going to be like a bit, a bit of an elements board. So I'm just putting in my opal. I think we're just going to put some pyrite crystal. Uh, down through here, just a small bit, small amount, uh, just to give this board a bit more bling. Pouring it up so it's flush or almost flush 
잘하고 있습니다. 200 grams on each one. I could have got the top layer so it's just like glass in the sense of being dead flat. Um, if I have a look at that I can see there's a little bit of undulation, a little bit of ripple, but you know, at the end of the day I'm not really worried about it. The artistic pieces, I don't like my pieces to be, you know, all dead perfect. I think it's taking it away from what it's really all about. Um, I like my pieces to be unique, everyone different. And um, you know, have your own little quirks. So yeah, I'm happy with it. That's the main thing. Using a brush, you can pretty much get in any little imperfections that you're unhappy without. Um, but overall, I'm quite happy with the results there. I'll take some photographs, post the photos first, and then we'll post this video a bit later tonight. <laughs> 